Good morning. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. It is time to start putting your dreams and goals on a board. We're going to start talking about it. How do, are we going to create this vision board and what is it going to look like? So as you're tuning in, of course, my dogs, where are you tuning in from? And how is your book going? So do you feel like we're moving too fast? Are you writing things down? Are you uh, dreaming? Are you keeping a list of your goals? I might have to let my dogs in. Are you keeping a list of your goals? Do you have them written down? Are you going to start writing them down? 101. So if you've been following along at any point in time in this book club, you know that the book has asked you a couple things. The book had said, write down 101 dreams and goals for your life, right? For your life. And yesterday and the day before, we talked about writing down goals, five to 10. Five to 10 goals, she said in the book, her name is Terry. <clears throat> 10 goals that you can achieve in the next 12 to 18 months. I said, what if you wrote down three to five goals that you could achieve by the end of the year? And are you doing that? So <clears throat> I want to know if you're writing them down. So you can't move on to the next step until you do that. Make sense? So we are on chapter four. It says designing your board. You're not going to specifically design it yet, but you're going to start thinking about it. And I want you to know this. <clears throat> if you're brand new, we talk about lots of things on this page, but I truly believe that mindset is important. I talk about this every single morning. I won't give you a lecture, but honestly, when you wake up with a sense of purpose, when you wake up with a sense of like, I get to, oh, I can't wait to work out. I can't wait to be with my spouse. I can't, I can't wait. With a sense of excitement, when you have dreams and visions in front of you, guess what? You're going to wake up with a positive mindset. And as you feed that and you fuel that, guess what? You're going to go through life achieving goals, encouraging others, inspiring others, because it's a mindset, right? Whereas if you're not feeding your, your mindset, if you're waking up uh, with a negative negativity around you and you're not doing the things that we talk about on here every single day, then you're most likely not going to achieve your goals. It's kind of plain and simple, right? So <clears throat> this is the book we're going through. If you want, if you're joining us, I would encourage you to take it at your pace, but do the activity. So we're, she talks about the importance of writing down your goals, dreaming big. There's going to be 101 things, whatever, however many you write down, of things for your entire life. And then three to five goals. She says five to 10 goals for the next 12 to 18 months. My encouragement to you is what are three to five things you can do by the end of the year, right? Specific goals. Now, She's basically going to say, here's how you're going to design a board. I want you to start thinking of your goals in pictures. She says, you don't think of something that you want in a word, right? Um, she says, most people think in pictures. So if you, let's say a car, she explains that in here. You don't think C-A-R, you think of a picture of a car. You think of what you want, what you'd want to drive. That would be a picture you would go and find in a magazine. I don't know who uses magazines or online and then print out the picture. That picture will go on your vision board, right? Think of all of these words and all of these things that you wanna do, places you wanna go, things you wanna achieve in pictures and you're gonna start finding them. She says, isn't it, so yesterday we had some friends pop over last night and the little girls were looking at all of the pictures I have all over my, I should show you. I'm gonna show you something, okay? <clears throat> Bear with me. Hey, where are you tuning in from? Uh, ignore my morning face. Where are you tuning in from and how is your day? So in our hallway, this is our hallway. There's the front door. Oh, hold on. Anyways, there. So you walk down the hall. Uh, we live in like a 
cabin type house. My husband doesn't love all the knotty pine. I love it. I love the way it makes people feel when they come to our house. That's a side note. He'd love to redo it. I said no. <laughs> okay, so I wanna show you something. These are pictures that are lined on my wall. Actually, I'm gonna, let me flip it around really quick. Hold on. So isn't it interesting, in the book, she says, isn't it interesting how we line our pictures, this is so true, with things from the past, right? So these are pictures of our girls. This is a picture. So we, we look at, you know, we're taught to frame our entire life from pictures of our past, right? <clears throat> so I look at these pictures all the time. It actually, I re this is something that I really want to, do a live on someday for moms is how to get through the stages um, when they're gone. Anyways, that's long different. I'm getting sidetracked. I look at those pictures and I want to go squeeze my little babies when they were that little, right? But they're getting older. And she says, isn't it interesting? Maybe you can relate. She says, we are taught to frame our past by displaying photos of what we've done in the past. I love to look at the wall. There's pictures all over our home. I love to look at them. I love it. I, I miss their little faces. I miss them being two and three. I miss it. And I, I love that I can look at those memories and go back and enjoy them in my head, right? She said, but the opposite is true for your vision board. You are little, literally framing the future before it happens, and it's supposed to be fun. So what would happen if I had a wall like that of future focused, right? What if you had a wall in your home that you walked by every day? Maybe it's uh, in your kitchen, or maybe you're gonna put this board up where you're gonna see it, right? You're gonna put this board up, just like I walk by those pictures and I'm like, oh, I just wanna squeeze those little cheeks, right? What if you put the board up somewhere in your home where you could not help but see it? You see the things that you're going after. You visually see the goals that you want to achieve. You see yourself 30 pounds lighter, right? Uh, whatever it is, let's start framing our future. And that's what this chapter is about. We're on chapter four. Um, designing a future board is one of the most valuable things that you will ever do to see and realize your dreams right before your eyes. My encouragement to you is start thinking of those things that you wrote down, and I want you to start thinking of them in pictures, and for the next few days, you're going to go through and find the pictures on Google or DuckDuckGo. That's uh, another Google search, right? Go find the pictures, send them to Walgreens. I, I find the pictures. I send them to Walgreens. They can print them off in an hour, and I'm going to start creating a board. That's what I want you to do is write your, write your top 10 things three to five, 10 things that you can accomplish either by the end of the year or in the next year, however you want to do it. Maybe you have one or two things you can accomplish by the end of the year. The other ones are like, I've got one year to do this. And maybe one or two huge things like, um, that would be like a life goal. We're going to, whatever you want on your board, don't, don't create a board that looks cluttery. Don't print off like, 40 things, those things we can create boards, you know, every year as you go, but the five to 10 things you can do in this next year, and then one or two really big, yes, these are like life goals, right? Um, and so she says, be creative. This is going to be fun. Enjoy the process. Um, and just think about, she talks about health goals, things you want in your life, a car, a home, uh, paying off debt, Remember SMART goals, right? We talked about SMART goals yesterday. Learning, actually, I love that you guys said that. What is something that you want to achieve? I would love to know. Somebody said learning the guitar. I would love to know, maybe if you are willing to share, what is one or two things that you would love to achieve in the next year? Post them below. What is, what is one thing that is on your life dream board? I would love for you to share those goals below. I'd love to read them. I would love to write a book. Um, I already have the title of the book. It's called, well, it's either Who Is She Becoming? I have, we have four daughters. Or if my husband writes it with me, it's Who Are They Becoming? Um, it is going to be a book about, it probably could ruffle some feathers. Um, 
if I did it about who is she, but anyways, doesn't matter. I have a book in my head. I have to do it. I have to write it. So I would love to write a book. Um, what else is that? I have a certain business goal that I want to achieve. I wanted to achieve it by November. <laughs> I can see it. It would be a really big stretch. Um, I'm going to get my vision board out. It's not a hundred percent done and I was going to, it's, it's not done and I don't clearly have it displayed because I was moving things around, but it's super important. So today I feel like I'm scattered mainly because it doesn't matter, but I've got dogs barking and my husband's in the tractor. If you've been following our tractor story on our stories, uh, our goal for our family, our family goal is, uh, we have a lake and on the lake, we can actually fill in some land eventually to create a little pasture to get a horse. That's a goal, right? That's a dream. I don't know if that will come true in the next year, but for sure in the next little bit, maybe maybe two years. My kids would like to say three months. So um, what do you want? What do you want? Let's get strategic. Let's get specific. We've got smart goals, right? You got to get specific. Not I want to lose weight. I want to lose 50 pounds, right? Not I want to get out of debt. I want to pay off all of the student loans within the next 18 months. Specific, got to get specific. So that's what we are doing today. So I'm going to end on, she made it, well, actually the entire chapter four is about just dreaming. What does it look like to create a board? How do we create a board? Printing off pictures. She even says you can create special occasion theme boards. And I've never thought about it like this. And I'll end with this. She says, if, you're, if your child wants to go to a college, maybe that, that child creates a theme board of that college. It's a small little board that has everything about that college. Or maybe you want to build a home. Maybe you create a dream board and you put it somewhere in your home and it's everything about what you want in your home, right? Or maybe your goal is really paying off debt and saving money. Create a theme board of what you're going to do uh, based around your money, your income, and how you're going to save. Uh, and the last thing I'll tell you is how important it is. In here, she tells a story about a family who wanted to go to Disney World debt-free. They wanted to take their kids to Disney World. So they created a Disney World board, a vacation board. They put it, it would be like me putting it up in the front by my door. They put it up in the front so every person that came in their house saw it, and every time their kids had extra money when they came in the door, they would put the money in a little box by their board, and they were going to save up until they could go debt-free. Well, what happened is family members, friends, people started coming over, and they saw their vision, and they started putting their extra change and dollars in their box, and I don't remember how long she said it wasn't long. Maybe it was a year. They were able to go to Disney World debt-free, by them all, by all of their family being on board with their vision and then other people adding to it. A dream board is powerful. So your action step is a couple things. If you have not written down your goals, uh, we have two different pages. A piece of paper that has <clears throat> up to 101 things. I don't know why they picked 101, but big, big goals and dreams for your life. And then five to 10 goals and dreams that you can accomplish in the next year, right? Here's the book. So, and then we're going to start creating a vision board. And then as you're writing these things down, I want you to start finding pictures and print them off so that we can create your board by the end of the book. We're on chapter four. So with that, remember, <coughs> as I think, so I feel. As I feel, so I do. As I do, so I have, right? As I think, what are you thinking about? Positive or negative, you're gonna get what you look for, you're going to get what you think about, you're going to get what you say, right? As I think, so I feel, which creates emotion. As I feel, so I do, which is your actions, and as I do, so I have, which are the tangible things in your life. So, I'm loving the book, I'm excited, I'm excited to share with you my board some of the things that we are going after. I would love to know what you're dreaming for, one or two dreams, uh, share them below, continue to tune into the page. And as always, we share lots of different recipes, tips and tricks with you. I hope you have an incredible day. Sorry for my little tangents all morning. 
all the fun. I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.